Polio once crippled hundreds of thousands of children every year. A global eradication campaign begun in 1988 has reduced that figure to hundreds, and the virus now circulates in only three countries, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and here in Nigeria. To stamp out the polio virus for good, these countries mount nationwide immunization campaigns on a near monthly basis. Locally trained health workers, identified by their blue aprons, fan out to cities, towns, and villages, giving simple oral vaccines to as many young children as they can find. Despite these efforts, some children are never reached by the vaccination teams. In hard-to-reach patches of northern Nigeria, the children of nomadic cattle and sheep herders are particularly susceptible to polio. What's more, their migrations may spread the virus around Nigeria and beyond, preventing polio from being wiped out. I'm nature reporter Ewan Calloway, and I traveled to Nigeria to search for nomadic communities with a team of epidemiologists. The nomads belong to a cultural group called the Fulani, and twice a year they trek cross-country. In December, when I visited, some nomadic families had already begun their migration south in search of greener pastures for their animals. The epidemiologists I was with used satellite imaging to get an idea where the nomads live, but reaching these settlements is another matter. Off-road motorbikes were a must. The team works with local guides, but they don't always know where exactly to find the nomadic settlements, so we sometimes had to stop and ask for directions. Each family has their own ruga, a collection of mud brick huts, and their relatives often live in neighboring settlements a few hundred meters away. The team arrived with a local Fulani leader. He introduced us to the head of the household and told him we were trying to eradicate polio among nomads. The team is working on building a map of every nomadic settlement they find. They also record the number of young children in the settlement and whether or not they have been vaccinated before. Mohammed Abu Bakar, a Fulani nomad, told us that he could not remember anyone ever coming to his ruga to vaccinate his children. In the past year, epidemiologists have mapped more than 30,000 settlements and identified over 700,000 young children living in nomadic and other remote communities here. The goal is that nomadic communities will be included in national polio immunization campaigns and that children like Abu Bakars will be vaccinated routinely. The global polio eradication effort has lasted 25 years and cost over $10 billion, becoming one of the costliest and longest-running public health efforts in history. If polio is to become a thing of the past, then countries like Nigeria will have to stamp out the virus from its final hideouts, no matter how difficult they are to find. <laughs>